Welcome back to Padfoot TD Games. My name is Zach. I'm the voice behind the icon, and today we're back in American Truck Simulator once again here in Oregon. We said we were going to do some flatbed work, and lo and behold, here we are. I was going to use our Peterbilt uh, version, uh, usually that we do logging with, um, but the mod itself isn't working properly. None of the dials are really showing up. It's just not functioning the way it should, so I've decided not even to worry about it. So we've got a freight shaker here with us. I'm going to end up changing the color to a little less intense red, but we're going to be doing some lumber work. <clears throat> I wanted to see what flat bedding might have to offer. So this is our first one. It might be our only one. I don't know yet. <laughs> I wish I wish I could see the future. But whoever is having a great day, I know that I am feeling at least a little productive when it comes to videos. And let's get ourselves out of here. And again, driving with that spread axle back there. Always slightly a challenge. And of course, we've got the opening gate, and we've got to take a right-hand turn. So trying to make sure we can get over as far as we can. Not to clip. But like I said, I hope everybody's having a good day. It is Wednesday right now. Been a good week. Been a quick week. I didn't have classes on Monday so we gave the students a long weekend since it's the last time until graduation so they got a little rest we got a little rest and we're back at it to push through to May <coughs> now it is kind of a bummer pushing through we still got three shows. I've got a drag show that's going on with a contestant from RuPaul's Drag Race coming through. Uh, once I can remember who they are, uh, not something I'm interested in in the least. Um, they'll be coming through and performing. Uh, I, I'm putting on the show, obviously. That's my job. So that'll be fun. <laughs> um, but I'll let you guys know once, once I can remember what her name is. You might be able to see it out on uh, Instagram, follow us out there. Of course, this will happen before you see this video. Um, I talked about it very briefly in one of my other videos, but I want to talk about this one now, too. Um, I'm sorry that there's been such a big delay in content. Um, I said at the very beginning I was going to do this for fun, which I still am doing, but... Here we are at 90 subscribers, and I never thought we'd ever hit that number. Um, and we're planning something big for 100, but <clears throat> now I feel like I owe it to you all to make sure that we can get content out. And it, it's really, since there's only a handful of games that we play, it's really not that hard. I don't go into the extra editing. I don't do face cam. So I'm hoping to be able to keep this kind of schedule of, of one a day. I remember, though. I remember when we were doing two a day, three on the weekend, when we first started. That's why we have 467 videos posted to date, and that's the date of April 17th, not when you see this, so that'll even be more at that point. <laughs> so, really glad for you guys who've been uh, sticking around. Numbers have gone up, numbers have gone down, but it's really nice to know that we have at least a handful of people were making happy with our videos. American Truck Sim is going to continue to be here on the channel. We do have NASCAR Style back with us. Very excited. Uh, just finished filming the first episode of that for this season. Even though technically it's the third, there's a whole explanation in that video. If you haven't seen it yet, check it out. And if for some reason this comes out before that video, ignore me and you'll see it in the future. <laughs> When I make videos, I never know what's going to be. I don't ever know the order. There's some where I'm like, yeah, definitely I wanted to go out on this day, but we haven't done anything specific. Oh shit, do we have a detour up here? Alright, well. I'm 
assuming must be a car accident. Uh, yeah, life flight and everything, but now we are going very much out of our way. Oh, jeez, how much time? I don't even know how long it's... It's going to be five hours. This wasn't five hours a second ago. Give me a second. Hold on. Really? <laughs> oh, <my> God. <coughs> well, this was meant... To, I'm sorry for coughing into the microphone. I just... I wasn't ready for that. Um, this just became a much longer episode. This was a two-hour delivery. No, fuck you, bus. This was supposed to be a two-hour delivery. I wanted something small to introduce this. And instead, we've got this detour, which I'm happy that they're in the game. They add that realism. It's a good time. But when you add that realism, but you don't plan it out, like it's not pre-programmed in there of like, this is a good spot for this. This is a bad spot for this. That's a bad spot because now we need to go all the way down to this random as hell truck stop two hours away. Oh boy, well, let's sit back and relax because now this turned into automatically a 15 minute video. <laughs> so, yeah, <laughs> American Truck Sim is here to stay. Happy cattle, the world's most happy cattle. Um, so, that's for sure. What else, though? Um, Washington's exciting. We. I know I talked about it a little bit before, but I would have talked about it again. So this is a new account. We had to make a new account here. Auto American Truck Simulator. Excuse me. That's explained in the IK9 to Michigan video. But a quick synopsis is there was a mod that we couldn't get out of the game. The game kind of became corrupt because it can't figure out where that mod is. And it won't function, so there's just no way of retrieving that account anymore. Which is a bummer because we had all of our trucks and everything working perfectly fine out there but alas <laughs> shit happens so we've had to abandon that count and move over here which is fine we'll just get our numbers back up as much as we can and have fun doing it hopefully we don't run into any more fucking uh, detours that was just miserable and we've got a way station through here too which I bet you we're gonna get hit both times going through. Because, you know, that's how life goes, so. Oh, excuse me. Sorry for the yawn. At least we're going to get nice, close, and personal with this freight liner. Um, this is the same freight liner that we use, though, with. <coughs> excuse me. With our Walmart series that'll be coming through again as well. It is neat to be able to. Um, the drive a company truck, we, we take the quality down a lot. And like in the engine and transmission and the aesthetics, we just try to keep it very basic for a company truck. Please pull into the nearest way station. Called it. I called it. I definitely knew it. Well, at least we get to see more of Oregon. I was like, oh, man, I bet you we can bypass. <clears throat> we can't. Because we do have cargo on the back. And we wait. That's good. Dump truck is to go right on through. That's another episode. I'm pretty sure it's already out. Oh, I think it was. It's already out. It was one of the last videos that we made um, on the old account. <coughs> Eighty-one thousand. Um, and the dump truck that was there, it just had such a horrible noise to it. Um, I think I might have actually figured out what the problem was, but not gonna worry about it not something and I'm like, oh, we need definitely need to get back into. <sighs> I'm just
just trying to find new things to be able to bring to the channel for American Truck Simulator. I, I'll keep on doing regular routes like the logging and the now flatbed, the Walmart, of course the Featherlight stuff. But there are a handful of uh, special deliveries that we still need to accomplish, such as the um, modular home. I said that I wanted to do that a while ago. So maybe that's what we will see next from American Truck Simulator. Nothing, I, I can't make any promises. That's for sure. But we will see. For now, well, let's uh, sit back and enjoy the view that Oregon has to offer for us. Beautiful sunsets. Beautiful details in the mountains. Even a cell tower up there. And again, little details make, make this game. It's funny. I went back and I watched some of our original uploaded stuff for American Truck Simulator. That was the first thing that was ever posted on the channel. It was our NASCAR style. And <clears throat> it's just listening to the commentary and the quality that was there versus now, it, it's night and day. But even since then, I was talking about quality. Quality of little details that are in the game. And they just keep getting better. Finally, we can turn around. <laughs> I'm sweating my ass off. It is ridiculously hot in my office. It's it's April. I believe it's like 60 degrees outside, but our house upstairs, even our, with our heat not on, is so hot. <laughs> and, it's, and I'm feeling it now. So I am literally like boiling alive. Uh, I remember last summer, for anybody who's been around that long, last summer when we were doing some of this stuff, some of our American Truck Sim especially, you could hear a fan in the background because it was so hot I couldn't deal. I couldn't deal with it. Well, this year, just to let you know, it's going to be almost the same thing. Now what I mean by that, okay, calm down, put down the pitchforks, brakes, Jesus Christ, nice truck stop. Oh man, I wish we had a stop. I want to go look at that. What I mean by that is hopefully not a massive decrease in audio quality, but <clears throat> we're not going to have a fan this year. What I'm hoping to do, trash truck in the morning, very nice, well at night, um, what I'm hoping to do is put an air conditioner inside, I don't have to use my turn signal, whoops, inside my office. Uh, we have an, air, air, an extra air conditioner. Um, and I think we're getting one downstairs as well. <coughs> um, I need to put it in here because my computer got so hot last year. It didn't do any damage or anything or wasn't even close to that. But you could hear that those fans working extra hard. Ooh, hit that curb. Um, I just wanna, don't want to have to put my computer through that again or myself. I remember sitting here just sweating so much last year. <laughs> so we are going to be hopefully putting in an AC and try to get that temperature down. So, I know, I am rambling, I don't know why. Maybe it's because I'm tired, hot, I don't know. Expect that for the future. <laughs> May is on its way, that's usually where we start getting the warmer weather. May 4th, okay, fine. May 4th is the big date we're really excited for. <clears throat> well, me personally, it's our first time being able to camp for the season. They'll be going to Minadnock Speedway for their opener, which includes the Valenti Modified Racing Series. Very excited to see those guys again. They always put on a great show. And I'm going to be honest, their shows have been better than the Wheel of Modifieds um, for the last two years. So we're hoping they can live up to that again. April 27th, which is 10 days from now. Whew, we actually are going to be, and I say we being my dad and myself, we will be going to... Uh, East Rutherford to MetLife Stadium to watch Monster Energy Supercross from MetLife. Very excited to do that. We used to do that. We did that for like three years in a row. Uh, and then they ended up going to Foxborough. We didn't make it there because of some other scheduling conflict, but we are able to make it again this year. Very excited to go with them. Probably going to be able to do a, a vlog from there. And then we have Nitro Circus as well. Um, that's going to be fun. That is going to be June, I believe. 
So we've got, oh my god, I was right. I was right. We got picked both freaking times. Stop the beeping. Holy shit. Both times. God damn it. How much time to say? Now we still have three hours. Well, good, wholesome content. And of course, there's a line. Oh, my battery's fully charged. I'm like, why is my phone blinking at me? cop up here. Also, if we run into another detour that completely throws us off again, fuck it. We're going through it. <laughs> I don't care whose life I put in danger. Scale works a lot better if there's just one person on it. Oh, jeez. Here, I'm gonna... Once we get up here, I'm gonna take a screenshot, and then we'll be back. But I want to get into the light first. Bullshit, you got to bypass. Fucking Walmart. I feel like another company we work for. <laughs> We'll end up doing some more of that soon. There we go. Let's get ourselves up here. It was 81 something last time. Let's see. Did it change? No. Maybe a little bit. I don't know if to look, but I'll be right back. I'm going to go take a screenshot. All right, we're back. Three hours left to go. Let's get ourselves going. But yeah, we're we looking at a lot of vlogs this year. We had the Carnival Cruise vlog come out. We had our semi-vlog from the KISS concert at Austin. If anybody happens to be a KISS fan. We're going to have one from East Rutherford Monster Energy Supercross. Nitro Circus. We're definitely going to have one from Monadnock. At least one from Claremont. New Hampshire Motor Speedway. For their uh, premiere event this year. I don't know what the sponsor is yet, so I'm not going to put my foot in my mouth, but I'm assuming it might be uh, the Foxwoods 301 once again. Let's see, what else? What else? What else? What else? What else we got? We might be going to Dover once this year. We have our Disney cruise in August. That'll definitely be a vlog series. It's fun to follow Ella on those. What else? It seems like a lot. Uh, Nitro Circus, of course. The At New Hampshire Motor Speedway, we'll also be going to the Short Track Showdown. As well as... Oh, come on, stop it. Oh, God. What do they call it now? Full Throttle Weekend? Is that what they call it in the fall? That as well. So look forward to a lot of vlogs this year for 2019. We're going to make this our year, and I'm really excited to see what this channel kind of becomes. We've been less than a year, and we've already had 100... Well, we haven't gotten there yet. We're at 90. But I'm assuming, hoping that we will get to 100 subscribers before June because I remember making that first video and we had none. You know, my wife was my first subscriber. <laughs> She's always been supportive and I love her. I love her more than just her supporting us. But <laughs> I thank you all for supporting and for watching this video and putting up with my bullshit, my rambling and all that fun stuff. But if I get the chance to travel some places that some other people might not go to events that some other people might not be able to make it to, I want you guys to be able to come with me. Might as well share the wealth. <laughs> and it's not wealth. We usually just get lucky. I know it sounds like we're doing a lot of stuff, but we try to save as much money as possible. You know, by camping, bringing our own RV. Um, I'm going on a New York trip. I don't know if I'll document that. That's for work. You know, there's a lot of little things that we're going to be doing this year. and We might have some big news by the end of the year, but we'll see. But I'm hoping to get up to 100 subscribers. And I'd love for maybe a year or two to get 200. But I can't think about that. That's way too far in the future. we got to live in the moment. We've got to live for now. And right now, it is nighttime. We're enjoying a way too long, like four plus extra hour drive delivering some lumber here in Oregon. <sighs> That's all that I can say. All I can say is just a big sigh. I love the I love it. I love the details, but I wasn't ready for that. I assume they've cleaned up the accident since then. No magic, just science. Okay. But I wonder if we'll see them working up there. 
that zoom is clear. Anything? No? Yeah, well, now it's clear. I wish you could also just sit and wait. That'd be fun. <laughs> oh, now we get to go through Eugene. Still two hours away. 100 miles away. Jesus. What do you think, Beasters? Also, the one thing I don't like about Freightliner is that I don't have Ella with me. Ah, uh, that's the one bummer. That's the one bummer from this. Oh, which way? No, no, we just keep going. Okay. The, the icon down there on the GPS definitely looked like an arrow at first, so it's like, oh, we must be getting off. Don't do it. Don't fall for it. Huh, Husky. Now the Husky's here. Little steps. Danielle says hi, by the way. She just walked by. Uh, what a crazy life we live in. A lot of things have changed in this year. With the YouTube and job. You know, adjusting to job. And the ranch and horses and dogs. And all the other crazy stuff. All you. You guys have reached out and been really kind. And I really do appreciate that. It's funny though. I was going through comments the other day. I try to do them once a week. But I would pushed these off for a while. And um, it was on Skyscraper Simulator. Now, I had, I had owned this game years ago, and I played it once, and I was like, this is stupid, and I put it away. Well, I saw Markiplier do a video of it, and he was like, this is the worst game, that's on Steam. And I saw him do it, and I was like, you know what, I actually enjoyed that game a little bit. I enjoyed it more than he did, so why not bring it to the channel? Well, I did. I did part one. It went okay. I figured that we could actually get a part two out of it. We can't do a part three because the game is broken enough where you can't get funding to build a third building. But regardless, <clears throat> I was like, let me do it. It could be fun. I had mentioned in the first one and in the second one that Markiplier had done these videos. Well, done this one video on the game. And, you know, I talked about his opinion and my opinion and, and laughed about it and had a good time. Nothing serious. He's a professional YouTuber. I'm a big fan of his. Um, and I just do this for fun. I got a comment, and this still tickles me to death, on part two. <coughs> Excuse me. And it said, Markiplier is better. Now, I took absolutely no offense to this. I wrote, uh, this is true. He, or like, he's great or something like that. Um, thank you for watching the video. Our customer expects delivery very soon. Make sure you arrive on time. Well, I would have been there four hours ago. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, I, of course Markiplier is better. Mark does this for a living. He's a very funny person. That's, that's part of his act. He is very outgoing. He's very funny. He tries to make people laugh. He entertains people. I'm doing this for fun. I'm just an average Joe playing a game. Really what it comes down to. So I take no offense. I laugh actually at it in the fact of uh, yeah. Yeah, he is. So I just had to share that with anybody who hadn't seen that comment. So I gave the comment a thumb th thumbs down and I appreciated that. Thank you for the support of pointing out some obvious things. Also, I don't really know where we're delivering to. I had always hoped that in this DLC that we would be able to deliver to an actual construction site. Now, I don't think that's possible. In the advertisements for Oregon, and they were talking about the lumber market, it always looked like maybe that was going to be a possibility, but it was never really talked about, and I haven't seen it. So that is why we're doing some lumber loads. This is something we haven't done before. We're just trying it out. The only time I remember doing this was when they first brought out trailer ownership, and I had to make a new account just to be able to play around with it because of mods and etc. We brought around concrete tubes, I believe. It's a good time. Also, I can feel myself getting dehydrated because I'm 
sitting here sweating so much. I don't know why it's so hot up here. Maybe, maybe actually I'm getting sick. Maybe it's actually not the house. Maybe it's me. I need a, I need a thermostat. Not thermostat. What is it? Thermometer? Yeah, a thermometer in here to see how hot it is. And I know I'm bitching and complaining while you're able to watch this wherever you might be watching it. So I'll stop complaining. Just smack myself. Just be like, no. Stop it. For the summer, though, there are some trucks. Good sign. Um, for the summer, we do have some fun new games planned. Uh, Zoo Tycoon might be coming our way. Some other co-op games with Danielle might be coming. I really want to get into the, like, Lego Harry Potter, Lego Star Wars, that kind of thing, where we might be able to play together. That, I think, could be a lot of fun. Uh, I want to do some more stuff with her. Because... Uh, Playing is fun. Streaming is fun. I don't like streaming by myself, though. It's hard for me to... Not a good multitasker, apparently. I don't have the ability to play the game, look at the chat, play the game. Especially since most of them are driving or fixing. Definitely more train. I just remember train mechanic simulator is going to come. More... Um, car mechanic simulator. That's definitely going to be more because... There's so much more I want to do in that game. But we'll see. I think it's going to be exciting. And some brand new stuff as well. X-Plane 11 will actually be making a comeback, I hope, sooner than later, to be honest. I've got some fun things that we could be doing with that. I knew it was going to be 35 too, and I wasn't even paying attention. Too busy blabbing. Also, does anybody else get that red sign? Just me? Okay. <laughs> Shows up every once in a while. Oh, this is funny. Irving, Texaco. Which one is it? <laughs> Since Irving and else, look at that detail on that food mart. The Whole Foods. Love these little towns here. Don't mind me just sticking my head out on a truck. Don't worry about it. We should get more wear and tear looking on the trailers and stuff, because these are all looking new. Little details. Always looking for. Pawn shop. Alright, well, we know where we are. Alright, where are we headed? Taking a left at the light. Good. Oh. Nice little strip here. Er. Nice little town. Barbershop. All cars. New, used, and rentals. They sell t-shirts. Beauty salon. Can't read that. Can't read those either. I know my eyes suck, but do they really suck that bad? There's a market. More t-shirts right over there. Oh, as we sit and wait. It is a nice looking truck. I never thought I'd be a Featherlight fan, but I like it thus far. I just stepped on a can. <laughs> Whoops. Ignore me. It's my random crap. Oh, green light. Too busy observing random shit. Welcome to the channel. <laughs> Jurassic World Evolution will be coming back. I know somebody had mentioned that the other day. It will be, I promise. It's just trying to get back into the swing of things. and Back into streaming with Danielle is actually really hard since she is now working a full nice bridge in the distance. Do you see that? Oh, I hope we get to do that soon. Um, stop ahead. Great. Um, but with her working full time, it's really hard for me to ask her to want to come and do live streams when she only gets a, a little time to relax in herself. And she's also taking an online course right now, too, for um, childhood education certification. So, I don't know. Hard things for me to ask. If I got to pick and choose, I'd rather have a date night than, <laughs> than a stream. Not that I don't love you guys and love being able to put out material with her, but then you got to pick and choose your battles. Look at that. Bridge. What a sight. I hope it shows up good enough for you guys. 
great industrial streets too. Very narrow. Seems very cramped. <laughs> and I know, I'm saying that is a good thing. <gasps> Wait. Don't get super excited. I definitely am. We are delivering to a home site. Yes. Oh, I just wish we were doing it in the morning. Oh, we might have to cheat here. What time? First off, hold on. It's 1.46. Ugh, I don't I don't want to do this, but I but I do. Ooh. I know. And now our delivery is going to be late, but I want us to come in in the morning. And I know that is so cheating of me. And I promise. Oh, that's green bridge. Nice green bridge. Um, I don't like to do that, but you would not deliver at night here. <clears throat> so I'm going to have to cheat a little bit just to be able to get some realism here. And I know you guys are going to be pissed because it's going to be super late now, but look at this. Oh, this is all that I ever wanted. <laughs> I wanted to deliver lumber to work sites. Oh, man. So cool. We'll hopefully have more of these, but... There's little things like this. You're building, what, two houses here? And we're helping with that process? Oh, so cool. Sorry, this is like a nerd moment for me. I'll take it. <coughs> All right. You guys want me to back in. You're not really giving me a lot of room to to maneuver here. With that dirt and everything back there. <sighs> yeah, stop yawning. All right, let's turn the wheel all the way this way. Just kind of get it kicked over. I'm telling you, that spread axle on the back, that is that is a new new type of challenge. It was last time too when we first got this trailer. It's gonna take me a moment to get, get this on back there. Tell anyone that with the feather light stuff we we're getting soft. So we don't ever have to park it nicely. Uh right. That should be good. Whoa. I need to get a shifter. Ooh. Hold on. This is going to be a better screenshot. I'll be right back. All right. Here we are. Engine off. Unload. Late. Yeah. Got anything from here? Highly doubt. Reservoir tank. That don't sound right at all. <laughs> we'll find some other work. Uh, well, that's going to do it for this one, guys. <sighs> that was a lot longer. That was a lot more frustrating than what it was worth. But I'm really glad that we were able to get to a construction site. This is what I was hoping for, and it did pay off. So that rambling uh, was worth it, I guess. But that's going to do it for this one. If you guys enjoy what you saw, we do live stream on Twitch, and we are on Instagram. Those links are down there in the description below. Let us know down in the comments what you think. I always love to be able to hear from you guys what you might want to see here on the channel for either American Truck Sim or anything other in the future or just a chat. Always love to have a word with you. If you enjoyed the video, hit that thumbs up button. If you want to show support, a subscribe is always appreciated. It just lets us know that you enjoy the videos that we're making, and it motivates us to make new ones. It puts a big smile on our face every day when we're able to see the number that we have been able to accomplish to that point. It warms our hearts, and I mean that. But with that, I thank you guys so much for coming out to this one, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.